Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, in today's tutorial, guys, I'll be showing you how to on your S22, S22 Plus, S22 Ultra, how to use smart widgets. Now, of course, smart widget is one of those new features you might have missed. And of course, you might not be using the feature and it could improve your um, this um, the functionality of your device in that smart widgets allow you to have multiple widgets in one convenient place all right so what i'm gonna do now guys is just to show you how the smart widgets work all right so they come in various sizes as you can see on the display here i have a smart widget and it shows you the notes and it gives you access to all of the feature in the notes there if you swipe on like a traditional widget it gives you the school screen time it can also give you the um the weather and the time and the date which is quite cool and of course, again, it um, comes back to normal. Likewise, up here, guys, you can see another. And it's just the same thing again. And of course, I've left it in that mode to customize my home screen. Now, a traditional widget cannot be slid. As you see, now, this is a traditional weather widget, and that's it. Now, to get these cool widgets with multiple widgets inside, it's quite easy. All right, so I'm going to use a blank space here just to simply to demonstrate. Let me move over this icon over to the spare screen over here. All right, so I've created a spare screen. All right, so wherever your space, go ahead and press and hold. Um, I could have done it over here as well. Even this small space is press and hold. So anywhere you have space, go ahead and press and hold. Then you're going to go down to widgets. And here it says smart. And you have a basic smart involving a two by two. Then there's the um, four by one, and of course there's a four by um, four by two. So it depends on what you want. So let's use this one here, which is the narrow um, four by one. And if we press on old and drop, notice the weather widget is there. You can actually resize it. So if you want it larger, you can get it larger. If I want to make it thinner, depending on the screen size. All right, um, go ahead and press. And you can check out this weather widget because all you got to do is basically slide. It has three slides. That's the weather widget. You can actually customize it, press and hold. Um, you can go to settings. And as you see here, guys, there's the settings for the weather widget. Or of course, you can go to current widget settings. It's more specific. And if you want, you can set it to be in black. Or if you want, you can set it to be transparent or white. Or you can match with the dark mode. All right, so if I wanted to, I could hit save and notice it blends. That's because I've added the transparency effect. And of course, guys, one of the cool things about your smart widget is that it's not limited to the default. So if you have three um, features in, you can actually add features. So go ahead and press, long press, then hit. You can remove a feature if you don't like it, or of course, you can add a smart widget. So of course, here you go. Any of the widgets on your device, you can then integrate it into the smart widget i'm not going to integrate anything but of course once you had something if you scroll it will transform into another widget so definitely guys you want to check out smart widgets instead of using the traditional widget as you can actually add one and get up very multiple um, various multiple features in that one widget which will save time performance and of course is a better option than um than your traditional widgets um you don't have to use multiple you can simply use one and it will be good all right i'm gonna end it tutorial here guys as always ricardo from blog tech tips and bye until next time bye